um, hello future me slash, um, Miss Boo Boo, uh, <laughs> so this is my COVID reflection, reflecting on, um, the time that we spent in lockdown slash pretty much all of 2020, um, I would describe that as the, the period of, of COVID, um, starting from, like, like, September of 2020, um, that leads to something that I found to be personally just a, a really, like, concerning thing, um, not even really concerning, but just, like, a staple of, of the time, is, like, having blurred perceptions of, of time periods, not really having a cohesive timeline of when things happened and uh, the specific dates of certain events and things like that. Um, the early days of isolation turned to the later days in what seemed like a blink of the eye. Um, it was almost as if it was long and brutal, but it was also a short period of time. Um, and that whole period just kind of blended together in my eyes. Um, and it, it blended together because a lot of the things that happened in isolation, um, were one in the same, you know, it's, we didn't do much. <laughs> there wasn't much to do. You stayed in your house, um, for extended periods of time. You rotated from your couch to your bed and then back again and back again and kind of just got into a routine of, of doing different things throughout your day in your house. Um, it was almost a, a limbo state. Like, you weren't really progressing, but you also weren't regressing. You were just kind of sitting in your house. And um, that's, for me at least, that's what blurred the, the time together. Um, but during the time of COVID, I did learn a lot about myself. Um, and overall, I would say that this period of my life has been positive, net positive. There were, um, of course, negative aspects, but um, in my eyes, it's been a net positive. So one of the things that I found to be positive was that I wanted to see what being bored would feel like um, in the age of social media and constant um, distractions or interactions. Um, you get very little time to yourself to kind of sit with your thoughts. And I had never done that before. I had meditated for a certain period of time, but never something like what I did in isolation where I just kind of cut off everyone, just kind of did my own thing, like complete isolation. And um, in isolation, people um, usually re reaching out to their friends, they're texting people constantly, they're always on social media. I did the opposite. I went fully into it. Um, and I just got everyone off in it. And uh, through that, I learned that being bored is a valuable asset, especially for, for me personally, because I don't see myself as a very creative person. Um, I think that I'm more analytical. Um, I kind of like doing stuff by the book. I like having um, set guidelines for things. But when it comes to creativity, that's an area which I'm lacking in. And I think that, or I found that being bored helped me be more creative. Um, I learned the value of being bored. Um, I tried different things. I, I tried poetry. I tried art. Um, I researched different uh, topics, um, whether they're spirituality related or, or religion. Um, and I kind of just spent my time delving into my interest, more creative um, aspects. I, I wrote, I wrote a lot of, of poetry. Um, I, I had a lot of notes from that time <laughs> in my phone. I just like random thoughts that would pop into my head when I was bored and I'd just write them down and they would turn into poems. Um, and this has all been extremely beneficial to me. Um, and it was also a time for reflection. You know, you reflect on your life when you're by, by yourself. There's nothing else really to do. <laughs> um, so I think that that period of reflection was also important to me. 
um, being able to kind of think about who I am as a person, how I could change, how I could better myself, the, the negative aspects of my personality, and um, trying my best to cut out those negative aspects. But um, I think that's everything I want to touch on. Uh, yeah, I think that everyone had an interesting experience with COVID. Some people uh, dealt with it better than others. Some people had um, better environments to deal with this sort of thing than other people. Some people thrived and some people um, just completely crashed. And it just depends on who you are as a person and your environment and just the things going on in your life. But um, I'm glad that we're moving into 2021, um, not leaving COVID in the past, but we are trying our best to move forward and change in this new environment that we live in. And um, yeah, I think that's it.